there was a lion living in the jungle and he was very voracious and he was chasing all the animals every day making a big mess, big trouble in the jungle well he was basically the boss of the jungle, the most strongest animal there and everybody was afraid of him so one day all the animals of the jungle they came together on a meeting and they were discussing that well, this lion he's like he's just making our lives so difficult we cannot expect, we always have to live in fear, we don't know where he's gonna be, who he's gonna catch today. So maybe we can arrange with him that we just voluntarily, every day we send one of our, one of the animals goes there and then others they can at least peacefully live, they don't have to worry. So they discussed this with the lion and lion agreed, he said okay, every day just one of the animals has he has to come and he just comes into my mouth and I eat it so then I don't need to chase you and we can live peacefully here. So it was going on like this for quite a while that one of the animals would come to the lion and the lion would eat it and it would be peaceful there in the jungle and then it was the time of a rabbit to go to the lion. So he arrived a little bit late and the lunch time was at 12 o'clock and the rabbit came 1 o'clock so the, the lion was really getting angry and annoyed and the rabbit was saying oh lion I'm so sorry I'm so sorry there was a danger there was another lion in the jungle and I was I was telling to him sorry I, I have appointment I, I have to be killed by this and this lion at this and this time but this lion he was chasing me and it was such a disturbance. I'm so sorry. I'm here. You can now, uh, you can now do what you like. And this lion, he was very surprised, and he was asking, like, who, who was disturbing you? Where is this another lion? And the rabbit said, okay, if you, I, I can show you where it is. The, the lion, of course, was very pleased with the rabbit. That rabbit came to him, and he was not eaten. He didn't allow the other lion to eat him. So then he wanted to get rid of the other lion. The rabbit called him to a, to a well in some covered well with some grass, a little bit open. And he said that here in this, in this cave there is the other lion. So this lion, he looked into the cave and he, he made a noise. And of course from the well there was a reflection. The sound came back rawr and he was like yes there is a lion and he looked in and there could be seen little reflection in the water and he saw the lion and he jumped and basically he finished the lion that was there inside the bell so this is the story that makes us understand that physical strength is the most important it is not much use of any intelligence the, the fittest of the survival that's why if you have any opportunity, use all your time just to go to the gym and exercise every day as many hours as possible. If you have some spare time, do not waste it for studies or any other things. Just try to be the fittest. The, that's why there is the saying, survival of the fittest. This story makes us understand how it works. So. Peace, go vegan, I see you later.